Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me we have a beautiful custom C10. This is a 1972 383 stroker bulldog transmission and a nice set of Riddler wheels. If you guys are looking for a turnkey truck with cold air, this is it. If you guys want to find out full details, click on the link below that's going to have underside shots and a full gallery along with listings for where this thing is going to go. Let's do it. Overall condition, I'd rate this a 7 out of 10. So that's a 70% out of 100 based on a concourse level grading system. The reason we give it that rating is because there are minor imperfections and we're going to try to showcase them to the best of our ability today. Front end is extremely clean. Engine bay is very nice. It has a 383 stroker. All of your lights operate. Chrome is show quality. There's no pitting. Front grille does have minor imperfections in marring because it is original. You do have a replacement front emblem. And then the engine bay, let me show you that real quick before we continue with the walk around. So you have a little 383 stroker, aluminum heads cold air, power brakes, this thing rocks. It also has a serpentine setup up front with a uh, mini uh, compressor for your air condition and everything's nice and dialed in in here. Suspension feels good. You have a nice radiator with dual fans and it drives down the highway with ease. Driver's side's extremely clean. You do have the trim that goes from the front fender all the way to the rear fender as well. It's all even, and then you have black uh, accents throughout. It is a basically a two-tone truck, so you have a white roof with a very clean line up here. There's no dents or dings. Small little ripple on the center section, which means it's just like a little indentation, but it's I'm just being really picky here. There's all of your body lines on the sides are even, so when I do this, it's not ripply, it's not bondoed up, and it's nice and solid. Doors open up and close easily. And when you open up the door, you're gonna see that all the door pieces are nice and solid. You do have imperfections here, and that's why we give it that rating. Small scuffs, um, imperfections near some of the corners, but overall, a very clean truck. You do have a small scuff right here from the actual door touching, but overall, very solid. Let's keep going around this truck. It's a short bed, and it's a factory short bed. I love the tailgate because they painted the Chevrolet logo in the same color blue and it really makes it pop. Your chrome back here is very nice. All your tail lights and, and reverse lights operate and the tailgate's very clean. This is lined with a blue liner so you can put something back here. You can use this truck. Small imperfections on the latches, but overall very, very clean and very usable and very presentable. Little bit of sun fade on the top section right there. And when we bought this truck, it's actually one of our close friends I used to play hockey with, with his son, and I've bought a whole bunch of cars from him, and he always has nice stuff. Another imperfection, the trim back here is a little bit off, and then I see a small little scuff right here in the white paint. Body line straight on this side as well. Door opens up easily. Inner doors are nice and solid. I do see some small bubbling right here. And that the trim for this outside section, the bolt is missing on this portion. And I'm just being really picky because I want you guys to have a really honest representation of what you're looking at. This is a turnkey driver quality truck with cold air condition and a really peppy motor. Interior looks great with that hound's tooth setup. Dash has that padded section. Steering wheel has no cracks in it. And when we get inside there, I'll go over more of the features. Let me start it up real quick so you can hear it. Starts up easy. You can hear the aftermarket radio. So it looks like a factory radio, but it actually is uh, Bluetooth capable and you can plug your phone in. It also has an aftermarket temperature gauge, which is very important for trucks like this because these trucks don't have an actual gauge. It's just like a either on or off 
basically cold or hot. It sounds really good. Motor is healthy and uh, we'll show you that right now. Let's jump in and go for a ride. All right, we're inside the truck. I'm gonna turn it off right now. We are at operating temperature, 190, oh, 175 degrees. Starts up like that every time. Look at the oil pressure. We've got, I don't know what this is in, in pre I guess it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, about 55 pounds of oil pressure. You do have a tack. And that motor is extremely peppy. You also have air conditioning, which is nice. So you can turn your air on and you have nice cold air blowing through the vents. And it's refreshing because today is the hottest day of the year. They say it's 104 degrees. It's 430 right now. And I'm about to sweat through. This shirt's going to be dark green when we're done with it. Even though we, we're going to keep the windows down so you guys can actually hear the truck. But I'm going to have the air blowing near the important parts of my body. We're going to put it in gear. It does have power brakes. Suspension feels great in it. You can push the brakes, it doesn't have any pulling. Suspension's not bouncy because it is, remember this is a lower truck. Charging systems operating. Oh, sounds good. Transmission feels good too. Pushing the brakes, no issues. We're gonna jump on to Marina Mile to get to our side road, and then we'll show you this thing outside. If you guys have any questions at all, give us a call at 954-363-2261. It's not too annoying either. It's like a nice throaty sound. Steering's tight as well, power steering. I've gone over it already when we looked at the engine. It does have that serpentine setup, which I love. Um, when I'm looking at the hood right now, I don't know if they're gonna have a picture of that in the gallery. That center line, I see a small little bubble in the paint from the inside of the truck. So that's something to take note of. But remember, we're giving it a seven out of 10 because there are minor imperfections, but in regards to driving it, jumping in it, enjoying it, it's ready to go. take a left here uh, shortly and we're gonna go over some bumps so you guys can see how the suspension reacts you have a nice center console as well and I'm sure you guys are wondering hey there's no rear view mirror well guess what I have it and you have the day and night spelled wrong probably night and I T E <laughs> so that's gonna be included here's the uh, information for the transmission um, and that transmission was $1,200 to rebuild. Muffler receipts, along with uh, just the topping off of fluids. We're gonna include all those documents with the sale. We will also test if it has posi traction once we get to that open road. We're going over the bumps right now. It is a rigid feel, so you do feel the suspension working. So we're gonna go over a big dip right here. It rebounds nicely. It's fun. It's a fun driver, nice and tight suspension. I like it. We're gonna get you guys some outside shots and let you decide if you have any of, what the hell am I talking about? We're gonna get you guys some outside shots and let you decide if this is the right truck for you. I'll test out the acceleration right now. Let's see if we have two, two lines for this. Also, it has a tilt column. Just You guys ready? Yep, that's two wheels. Yeah. Felt good. 